Joining me this week is Tim Mortian, an illustrator who dabbles not just in RuneScape related art, but lots of original pieces. They have participated in the RuneScape art discord, fundraiser over Christmas, and are currently open for commissions. We'll be chatting all about how they got into RuneScape, their favourite times in the game, favourite characters, and much, much more in relation to the game. We'll also chat about how their art is created, the process behind it, and a whole load of other topics. So join me as I head into the mind of Timortian. Hello Timortian, welcome. Hi. Have you ever, ever done anything like this before? Any interviews or? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> All right, first time. Let's see how we go. And let's start. The first time you played RuneScape, do you remember when that was? Uh, yeah, it was when I was about ten years old, I think. And I came around uh, just when EOC was introduced. Okay. So quite a lot yeah. later than a lot of people so yeah. first found it. So had you played like before EOC or was EOC kind of what got you I think to I see played, it? I played a little bit before and because I was only 10, I didn't see much of a problem with it changing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like you'd been playing for 10 years <laughs> and then yeah. suddenly had the difference, yeah. So, yeah. have you got any favourite moments, like, are you, all the time you've been playing? Well, um, I took a, a long break from the game, and when I came back, a bunch of new quests had been added, yeah. and so, um, playing one of the new quests, I think it was, um, one of the Sliske quests. Yeah, I've, I've I, I am yet to finish all of the quests. I did Kindred Spirits the other day, so that's kind of as far as I've got with like Sliske's, um story, I suppose. Yeah, it's it's one of the one, one of the earlier ones. But yeah, just playing that quest, it really got me back into RuneScape. So yeah, that's probably my favorite memory. So, have you got a favorite god? Uh, I, d I don't like to say that it's Zaros because I don't really like him, but he is my favourite. <laughs> the most, the most interesting, I suppose. Or yeah. So like, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> a, a bit of a tricky question. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you got a favourite quest? It sounds like you obviously if that's what got you back into it. Were you big into the quest before you left, or did it kind of? The storytelling of them. Um, yeah, I really like the quests because they're not like other MMOs. So it's, it's really great. I think um, Wild Flakes is probably my favourite quest, though. Yeah, that, that is one I've had uh, a few people say in the past. It is a, <laughs> definitely a popular one. And are there any, yeah. are there any like quest series that you hope at some point? they're eventually going to get around to. I really want them to continue the gnome quest line because it's just, it's not finished. And it's been so, so long. <laughs> it has. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the, the username Timortian come from? Um, well, you see, when I used to play before, I had this character called Timoti. And um, that was based off of a, a shampoo a called shampoo? Timote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So, and then because I couldn't remember my password, I had to abandon that account because I didn't know the email address either. So I had to make up a new one. So I came up with Timortian. Nice. Nice. It's still got the, the essence of the shampoo. But <laughs> sure, it's the vanilla essence of the shampoo. <laughs> so what about so we've got your favourite quest. What about favourite NPC or like character pottering around the game? Oh, it's it's as an Adra. 
Okay. I'm, I'm really drawn to him. I like his, um, I like how he looks. He's interesting. And yeah, he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you like the Marja Rat as a whole? I yeah, like... I really like the Marja Rat. It's the mystery and sort of the hiddenness of them. Yeah. And the secret power. They're a little sneaky. Mm, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, because I didn't realise, like, recently I did a video where I did, like, 100 barriers kills, and I did a bit of, sort of, reading into all the lore and stuff behind it, and this was before I did Kindred Spirit, so I didn't realise quite where they came from, and obviously it's all Sliske. Oh, yeah. It, like, <laughs> it's so involved <laughs> in everything, so I really need to finish all the quests so I'm, like, actually up to date with the lore and stuff, because I find it really interesting <laughs> as well. Yeah. So, what about PVM? Have you done much bossing or anything like that, or is that not your kind of thing? It's not really my kind of thing. I'm not very good at the combat in it. Like, even in quests, I, I can't do it. <laughs> it's really difficult. So, you, have you got a favourite boss, or have you really, like, avoided it? Well... I like KBD because I can kill KBD. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'd put, I've, at the moment, I'm trying to put together. I've done like like I did the Barrows video, I'm doing the KBD one, and I'm trying to get free cab footage. And every time right. I go into free cab, of course, he's pottering around the lair and he's just wandering. Yeah. And if he wanders too close to you, he attacks you and takes you completely out of free cab. So I'm like in the middle of a perfectly looking shot. And then suddenly it's like straight, <laughs> I was like, no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a little bit frustrating, but I'll get there. It just requires a bit of patience. Yeah. Uh, so have you got many 99s? Have you maxed? Um, I've not maxed, despite how long I've played the game. Um, I've got. Quite a few 99s, though. So, yeah. Do you remember which one the first one was? Yeah, I do, because it, it was cooking. Okay. And I like cooking. <laughs> yeah. What did you do to to grind all the way up to 99? Oh, uh, you know, just the average, find the best fish, cook the fish, <laughs> and then you use the fish to go fight things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I think I actually got 99 fishing before cooking, because I was like, right, if I just catch all the fish up to 99, I'm sure I'll have enough to get me to 99 cooking afterwards. And luckily, that sort of worked yeah. out. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't even have 99 fishing yet. Yeah, the deep sea hub is really nice for that. The sailfish. Mm -hmm. So do you have a favourite skill to train? Um, I think I like to do Slayer. Yeah. Yeah, it's very varied and you can do all different combat styles and things. And yeah, that's fun. You see all the different parts of the world as well. Yeah. Yeah. So someone that doesn't really like combat likes Slayer as their favourite skill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is there... Oh, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Is there anything you'd change about the current state of RS3? Um, I'm not sure I'd know what to change. Because, you know, aside from the loot box mechanic, which I won't get into, yeah. The, um... it's, it's covered enough in so many different places that it, it, it is. Yeah. But, you know, other than that, I think everything's going pretty good. I mean, there hasn't been a quest released in a long time. Yeah. But... Well, well, you say that, but there was the slime quest. What do you mean? That was, that was only in February. <laughs> um, um, you're right. Mm, that yeah. sure no, did come out. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm with you there. I really wish there was more lore based stuff I mean obviously archaeology is kind of like quests but it's also not <laughs> yeah it's, it's not really it's nice. a replacement 
but having the mysteries no, and stuff. Not really. The mysteries, I guess, are kind of almost mini quests in themselves. Some of them, anyway. Yeah. Like the whole, I saw a, a post the other day that was sort of talking about this, and it was saying how like the whole of the infernal source basically could have been a quest, if that makes sense. Like the whole story yeah. with the demons and the gargoyles, like that. There's a lot of kind of yeah. similar quest things there. Like each area itself could have like a quest. Like... And effectively, there is. You just have to grind a lot between each part. <laughs> yeah. What, what are like your thoughts? a regular MMO quest. Yeah, yes. <laughs> what are your thoughts on archaeology? Have you delved into it much? I've done a bit of it, and it, yeah, it seems pretty good. I like the amount of lore that comes with it. Like, yeah. That's, that's really good. All the yeah. journals and stuff to read as well. And yeah. Even just the areas. I like getting to talk to... As an Edramor. <laughs> <laughs> Even in human form. Even in human form. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, have you played old school at all, or not really? Because obviously that would have been before you first got into RuneScape, really. So I guess you haven't got the nostalgia for it. No, I don't have the nostalgia for it, but I'd watched a lot of YouTube videos about old school RuneScape, and so I decided to give it a go. And I thought it was pretty good, yeah. I didn't do much, but I made a guy with blue hair. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kind of the same. I've yet to actually play it, but I've watched a lot of videos, and some of the ideas that they come up with in old school I find really cool like the sort of the verses where they kill stuff for two hours and they get the best gear from the two hours that kind of thing is all fun yeah. things that I think could work with RuneScape free video makers just no one really does that yeah there's just not I don't think there's much of a market for it either for RuneScape free players yeah but there may be yeah like most RuneScape free videos are guides and that sort yeah. of and progression videos, I think, is the the way people that people basically just want to get their skills up. It seems. Yeah. It's <laughs> the main thing. So, obviously, Jagex are uh, being very quiet with what they're working on. Obviously, they announced that uh, a couple of the quests have been well cancelled, delayed, changed to a different way i mean this was a few months ago now and they did that but do you reckon yeah. they the resources obviously have to be going somewhere you got any idea what they might be doing i think they may be working on a, a few quests at the same time and then maybe waiting and like maybe some more skill updates or something so no i'm not really sure what they're working on yeah, it's a, it's a little bit frustrating for everyone, it seems. Like, I'm, I'm not too worried about it, because I've still got all this, like, 20 years worth of context. I've only been playing about a year and a half properly, so I've got, like, so much stuff to catch up on that at the moment I don't really care. There's not a huge amount of new stuff. Like, I can see the frustration from people that have been playing all that time. But yeah. I guess it doesn't affect me massively yet. But... Having like huge gaps between stuff, and obviously with the the current situation of everything, it'll be a lot trickier yeah. to get communication and stuff working as they were expecting. So I don't know. I mean, yeah. there's there's been rumors and like job postings on the Jagex page for other unannounced games and things as well, and rumors of like RuneScape remastered. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know. Do you reckon that's something that would succeed. I don't. I don't really know what they'd do for RuneScape Remastered because that's basically just RuneScape free, right? Yeah, I mean, like to remaster RuneScape, you might as well just put the resources in making RuneScape three look better. <laughs> yeah, exa exactly. <laughs> I mean, do you reckon there'd be? What do you? Well, what do you think of the current art style and stuff? Obviously, as an artist yourself, I think. 
a lot of the areas look really good. Like the ones that they the new one. Like all the new areas, they look amazing. But the character models don't really fit. They're a bit like old. Some are Not a bit janky. NPCs, yeah. but, but the player character is a bit it needs updating, but I understand that's a very big job. It is, especially it when you update a lot. Wow, because you've got to think like how many items are there that are equipable that can't clip with the new model, and it's like when you start thinking yeah. about that, it's like there's all the different armor sets and all the cosmetic sets and everything, all the clue rewards and all the animations. Yeah, suddenly you realize how much work actually would be needed for it. So maybe, yeah, so so maybe that is like RuneScape remastered territory. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know, very odd. So do you, <laughs> do you get much of a chance to play any other stuff, or is it kind of RuneScape and Art are your main uh, chilling out things? Um, I play a couple of the games. Um, I played Animal Crossing a lot since it came out. Yeah, I um, I have a Switch, but I've I, don't, I barely play it, so I've, I have I didn't bother getting Animal Crossing because I knew I probably wouldn't do it. I had it on the DS. I had the DS version. I played that quite a bit back in the day. But... Yeah, I had it on the DS, so I thought um, there was a lot of hype going up to it coming out on the Switch. So I thought, yeah, it might be fun. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. And then in terms of, like, Films and stuff, are you much into that, or is it more of a gamey and a bit more interactive you prefer? Yeah, I prefer the more interactive stuff, but, you know, I've watched a couple of the films that have come out on digital release. Like, I watched uh, Birds of Prey the other night. I haven't seen that one yet. What's it, what's it about? Oh, it's, um, it's about Harley Quinn. Oh, okay, and, okay. Um, yeah. It's really good. So if we move into how you got into art in the first place, where did you when did you first start realizing you really enjoyed it? Well, I pretty much did it my whole life, but especially in relation to RuneScape art, it was about when I was fifteen that I decided to really go for it, and um, yeah, I made a bunch of like hand drawn. RuneScape comics and put them on my Tumblr. <laughs> and they sort of gained a bit of traction and you kept going and... Yeah. Because then you're doing um, commissions? I know you've been doing commissions for a while, I think. I keep seeing on Twitter. How are they going? Are they... Do you enjoy commissions? Have you ever got asked for any uh, peculiar ones? <laughs> I've not got any strange commissions, but no, yeah, I really like enjoy doing commissions because it gives you something really clear that the person wants you to draw, and it gives you the push to actually draw it because they're paying for it. So, yeah, mm. it's a really good experience doing. It's nice putting your own spin on the different things as well. It's like seeing the style that other people have done for them, and then coming up with your version, I guess, yeah. as well. So have you had yeah. much formal training for your art, or has it all been sort of at home and self-learning? I did um, an art A-level in college, um, but that wasn't really much teaching. So uh... <laughs> Ah, that sounds uh, familiar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was mostly self-taught. So, and what do you use in terms of for actually creating the art? Like, what's a what's the process? Do you go through sketching on paper first, or is it all digital? No, it's it's all digital for me. Uh, I use a Wacom tablet, and I draw everything in Paint Tool size, and yep. then yeah, paint it all. 
straight away. <laughs> so do you? So I, I mean, I guess you block out sort of the shapes and stuff first, and then work on color, yeah. and then shade after that as sort of the the natural Yeah, I process. tend to do like. I do like a small sketch in the beginning and then I make it bigger and then I sketch over that and then I put the colours down and I paint because <laughs> <laughs> I've got more of a painting style than other people who use like line art. Yeah. I don't really do that. <laughs> what is your like favourite thing to paint? Like, Is it uh, like features or is it the backgrounds or...? Um, I think, I think, uh, faces are probably my favourite to paint. Because they're, they're very expressive and you can put a lot of colours into the face. So, what would you say the main inspirations on your, like, style are? How did it kind of come around? Um, for my style, it's probably more of an anime inspired but also inspired by like uh paintings so kind of like painted anime <laughs> <laughs> any anime in particular um i'm not sure in particular there's any anime i can think of that it looks especially like but yeah just general anime. So, is there any other type of, I guess, creative medium that you'd want to learn outside of sort of digital art? Um, I'd like to be able to do like pen and ink drawings, like. You draw on a uh, paper with like just a pen, like straight down without putting any pencil underneath. That's it so precise. Of... Yeah, you can't make a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is a lot of screwing it up straight in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all right, that's a rather low plane. Things are out. Interesting. Um, sorry, got distracted. Um, <laughs> have you got any tips for anyone that's just starting, sort of getting into artwork, and they're not really sure how to? And that was the bin. Um, how to continue? Um, or like expand and find their style properly. I suppose. Sorry. Well, I can only give the same advice that everyone else gives, unfortunately. you just got to keep practicing. You've got to make sure that you learn the rules before you break them. Like, you've got to learn anatomy before you can make something more cartoony. Yeah, yeah. so you've got a solid yeah. base, I guess, to start from, rather than just starting from wherever you want. Yeah. Because if you've got a solid base, then you can do whatever you want with it. Have you chatted much in the um, RuneScape Discord, the art Discord? Got to know many people in there yet, or not so much? Um, yeah, um, I'm in it, and I have participated a few times. I think... And yeah, people in there are very nice. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw you did the, was it the winter... One of the winter advent days, I think I saw one of your pieces for. Yeah. The, the what, Zanik, was it? Yeah, it was yeah. Zanik and my world guardian. Making a snowman. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you got any plans for the future? Any, like, art pieces that you're wanting to work on? Or anything you've had inspiration well, from recently? Well, it's not RuneScape inspired, but um, I'm making a comic at the moment. It's not going to get published anytime soon. But yeah, I'm drawing out the pages. It's going all right. A big project, though, I guess. Yeah. 
how long would you say it takes you on average for uh, for one of your pieces? Um, on average, it takes like a couple hours. Okay. Cause, yeah, I don't, I don't tend to spend too long. On it. <laughs> it's a pretty refined process, I guess. Because it, it, I, yeah. I'd imagine when you first were starting, it was taking a lot longer to get it was, I guess, yeah. the look. But now you sort of understand all the tools you're using. You can kind of immediately be like, oh, I just need to use this one, and away we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But I think I've covered everything that I had uh, to ask you. So have you got any shout-outs to anyone you'd like to make? Um, I can't think of any at the moment. It's all right. Shout-out to you. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for uh, well coming along and spending a bit of your afternoon with me. It's been nice chatting, and we've, uh, yeah, we've caught some interesting bits and pieces. And let's just hope Jagex do come out with some new quests soon, right? Yeah. Fingers crossed. Uh, thank you for inviting me. It's, it's been nice talking to you. No worries. Hope everyone's uh, keeping safe. I'll speak to everyone soon. Thank mm-hmm. you.